how to use Bifrost SLP to release KSM crowd loan liquidity for participants. Welcome to the Bifrost one-on-one -on -one series of videos. This video will make you to understand what Bifrost SLP is and the purpose of SLP. As the Polkadot slot auction is approaching, in this video, let's first talk about KSM crowd loan. Polkadot has always been expected in the cross-chain field. Its unique relay chain, parachain architecture will hopefully create an internet of blockchain. Blockchain projects can bid for parachain slots by staking DOT, and after successful bidding, they can be used as Polkadot's parachain and share the security of the relay chain. Kusama started out as a testnet for Polkadot, but as the project progresses, Kusama has begun to operate as a standalone public chain system. Like Polkadot, it will be connected to many parachains, so not only the price of KSM is rising, but also the auction of Kusama parachain slots is highly anticipated. For Kusama slot bidding, the project owner needs to stake enough KSM to have a chance to bid successfully. Of course, project parties can leverage the power of the community through crowd loan to complete the auction. Either way, the bidding activity will likely result in less liquidity of KSM in the market. In addition, for users participating in the crowd loan, their KSMs will need to be locked and lose their liquidity, which undoubtedly reduces their motivation to participate in crowd loan. Recently, Bifrost, a DeFi protocol dedicated to releasing liquidity, launched its slot auction liquidity protocol to release the liquidity of locked KSMs, DOTs in the future, in slot auctions by generating derivatives. Bifrost SLP The Bifrost SLP will generate both VS KSM and VS Bond derivatives, where VS KSM is a fully fungible token, VS Bond is not. Depending on the parachain using SLP, for example parachain 1 and parachain 2, will generate different VS Bond 1 and VS Bond 2. VS Bond 1 itself is fungible and VS Bond 2 itself is also fungible, but VS Bond 1 and VS Bond 2 are two different tokens. VS Bond is different depending on the parallel chain involved in the auction, but VS Bond 1 and VS Bond 2 are different tokens. In addition to the VS bond being different depending on the parachain involved in the auction, different VS bonds will be generated for the same parachain at different times, but we will talk about it later. It seems a bit complicated, so why is it designed this way? Non-fungible factors such as slot rental period varies. Different redemption periods and non-uniform parachain reward strategies prevent derivatives from being fully fungible, and non-fungible is a hindrance to liquidity. In contrast, fungible derivatives pull liquidity from different parachain crowdfunding, creating a huge liquidity advantage. Therefore, Bifrost starts from the token property of the participating crowd loans and decouples its asset property from its equity property, designing two derivatives for users, VS KSM and VS Bond. VS KSM VS KSM is a fungible token. All VS KSM are the same. It represents the credentials staked by the users to parachain crowd loan, and you can trade your VS KSM at any time. VS KSM pairs will be created by Bifrost officials on various DEX platforms, but of course anyone can create them. If you do not want to sell your VS KSM, you can also wait until the end of the parachain lease period and redeem your KSM in conjunction with VS Bond. VS Bond VS Bond is a non exactly fungible token, and VS Bonds issued for different parachains are different. With properties representing the slot lease period and participation rewards for users supporting different parachains. VS Bond represents the specific parachain and its lease period for successful bidding, which in Kusama could be 6 to 48 weeks. So the full naming convention for VS Bond is VS Bond plus parachain name plus slot lease expiration date. VS Bond can be combined with VS token to redeem the KSM locked by the crowd loan one-to-one -one after the parachain lease expires. 
In addition, if a parachain project owner needs to issue a reward to users who vote for themselves in a bidding event, they can do so directly to VS Bond holders. So VS Bond can be seen as a special commodity that contains a voting reward and a one-to-one -one redemption. Bifrost wants to differentiate a token's asset properties from its corresponding equity in the simplest way possible with these two different properties of tokens while giving VS token great trading depth. The above is the Bifrost SLP solution, an innovative derivative solution. It is believed that SLP will create convenience for parachain project parties as well as users who participate in Crowdloan, Inku Sama and Polkadot slot auctions.